it is time for another creature design. It's not really a surprise anymore, it's monthly, I do it every month and I don't know how to open these videos but here we are, these are all the cards that I have so far. I absolutely love making these and I know that you guys enjoy the videos so I'm excited to do another one today. And last month I did the silver spotted Komorebi, I think this should focus, and I ended up choosing a few names suggestions that you guys had. Uh, I think two, so I'll put your names here. Thank you guys so much for the suggestions. There were so many good ones and it's hard to choose the ones that I feel like fit the best, but I really like the Komorebi um, suggestion because I wanted this uh, dragon to be kind of Asian inspired and they said that Komorebi means the light that comes through the leaves of the trees and stuff and I thought that was pretty cool and it kind of fits the creature. I like that more than just like the King of Illusion or something else like that. So there we are, I really like this card and I'm excited to do today's card. If you have any suggestions for today's creature or their lives or anything, please comment that down below. Also, I will feature all the creatures that you guys designed from this, these prompts at the end of this video. And then I invite you all to join in on today's challenge, whatever I get, because I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, and since we're doing these each month now, I'm trying to kind of um, spice it up a bit and not just do, I don't know, normal, like, oh, let's pick three animals and combine them together. So I found something on the internet. So on the internet, I found this generator from conceptstart.net and they have a creature generator and you can untick and choose whichever ones you want to have in here. And they have like two animal species that I thought that that fits perfectly for what I do. And I might not use everything in this listing, but I might use some of it. I hate doing this because I never know what I'm going to get. Okay, so the primary species is mink. It, the subspecies is sheep. Ooh, I like that though. It's tiny. Ooh, we haven't done a tiny creature for a while. Lit glacier. Key fe feature, it's glowing. <laughs> Fighting style, strategic. Strate strategic. That's not gonna work for me. Oh, a mahogany. What is mahogany? Is it like a dark wood color? That's the only thing I connect with mahogany. Mink sheep. Okay. Mink sheep. Mink sheep. Oh, mink sheep. Do we already have the name? <laughs> mink. They're so cute. Maybe we should add one more animal into this mix just to make it a little bit more interesting. But mink was the the first kind of species that it said so. Um, and then let's do sheep. <laughs> I love it. Sheep are actually really cute and beautiful creatures. So we're gonna have curly fur, that's for sure. Maybe it's glowy fur. Maybe that's like a fashion thing. That sounds horrible. But like, imagine if the key feature is that it glows, so the fur actually glows. And they're hunted because of the, the glowing fur. <laughs> that sounds horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's throw in another animal into the mix just for funsies. I still have my jar. There is no spider in the jar. <laughs> to anyone who remembers that incident. Oop, Jerboa. Uh, isn't that a little cute mouse? Yeah, it is the cute little mouse. <laughs> All right, we have Jerboa. Why would why would it, its fur glow and I guess if it lives in the Arctic, that means that it's gonna be dark for most of the year, or half of like light and then half. Maybe it like charges its skin or fur in the in the months where it's mostly sun, where like the sun doesn't go down, and then in the winter it has enough power to kind of keep everything lit. All right, shall we do some sketching? Minks are really cute. They're like little foxes, but not foxes. This does not look like a mink. What have I done? Well, we have like two animals that are hunted for their fur, so unfortunately that is going to be the the angle that I think I want to take for like the creature. Mink, sheep, jerboa. 
glowing fur mahogany which I, I haven't looked up the mahogany color yet but I should probably do that I think this is a baby one the one I'm sketching now I'm not sketching these creatures or these minks very accurately today, I feel like. I'm very much stylizing them a bit. Don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I'm in a hurry. I shouldn't really. Oh, well, I have things to do. <laughs> Maybe I am in a hurry. <laughs> oh, the feet are interesting in this one. Because you can actually see. You can actually see the toes. Maybe I should have, should have sketched this in uh, pencil. It's kind of fun sketching in different colors. It doesn't really matter what you, color you study in, I guess. Uh, I don't have enough space for these giant ears. Wait, what did we get for the um, sheepdog? What kind of animals did we get for that one? There we go. Oh, taper. That was it. Just thinking, I hope this creature combination isn't too similar. But it's uh, it's fine. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting my Kickstarter. It's going so well. I'm trying not to focus too much about like it. Like I just want to finish the comic and print it and uh, everything like that but like it's going so well and I want to thank you so much. It's still up until the 1st of October, that's the last like half day I think. It's up until like 2 p.m. or something um, and there's a few rewards that you will only be able to get on the Kickstarter so just so you know. Also if you want the creature cards you can go to my Patreon and this creature card is going to be there uh, for you to get if you want. Yeah. You know just Shameless self promo in my videos. <laughs> Can't do much more before I have to spend the rest of the space on the page to design the creature. But I, I, I guess I just am enjoying sketching right now. So. <laughs> Alright, let's think about what the creature will look like then. Since we do have Mink, I, I am thinking Mink as the main shape. Oh, we have Jerbo as well. Hmm. Forgot to sketch the little mousey thing. We can do a little one here. It's not gonna have that much of a difference in the design. Okay. Okay, the creature itself. Let's look at some. If we have our slinky body but I, I love the noses of the sheep so let's just add that in this is the body of a mink <laughs> question is do we do long ears or short ears do we go for small ears looks more interesting with small ears I always go for the big ears so that's what I'm thinking I just added a second horn just because I thought it could be interesting. Mink like. And I want the tail of the Jerboa. And everything is curly. Let's see if we can look closer on his face. I might add I might add like the flat long look from the mink. I was trying to add that kind of predator look to its face, but still have the sheep features. That's a bit tricky, but like I'm looking at this here. Because I don't want it to just be a sheep or a sheep head or just like a, a mink head. It looks like a little dragon, doesn't it? It reminds me of something can't quite put my hands on that. Hands on that? Like my finger on it. <laughs> what can we do? We could go, we could curl it all the way around. 
but I kind of like the small ones. I really like how it looks. It's pretty. It's a pretty one. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sketch it on to this side of the page and do a nice little pose and then we will start doing the line art and everything. Usually I don't really talk when I do the sketching, so if I do, that'll be a surprise, but I'll just start that now. I think I've made another good dragon creature. I think this is just another dragon creature. <laughs> I don't know what happens. But like it's funny how when you mix the sheep and the um the predator, pretty much the mink, it just it just looks honestly, it looks like a lion, and I'm like, I didn't mix any lions in here, but okay. Um so that's what it looks like. And I don't I don't mind it at all, it's just funny. Um I still sort of think about curving these down. I don't know, I haven't quite figured out where to put the glowy aspect of this creature in yet. And to everyone who's gonna ask, this is still the old sketchbook, I haven't filled it up yet. I haven't tried the new one, um, the new Illo sketchbook, uh, after they apparently fixed the problem, but yeah, we're gonna see. I'm gonna get that, my hands on that soon. But yeah, for now I'm using the old one because I know people are gonna ask and be like, <laughs> um. I like the smaller ones better. The bigger ones, I don't know what it is. I just don't want them to have big horns. Maybe I shouldn't maybe have them at all, but. Oh well, we tried. <laughs> maybe you guys have a different opinion. I think maybe I'll remove this one now, because I feel like I'm already doing that for the snowcap friends, so... They do look like, look like some sort of lion-esque creature though. Which I don't mind at all, I think it's beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. So I'm, I'm wondering how we're gonna put in the mahogany, because I found some really cool um, color reference sheets that I, I like the look of, so I might add that in. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start lining this now, and I am excited! Line art is my favorite part, as you all know by now. <laughs> as always, I'm super excited to do this in um, digitally, because I take this and, and make it a digital thing. Zoom! Giving them eyelashes was a bit, maybe a bit too much, but <laughs> the sheep have like really nice and like pretty eyes, so. I don't know, the sheep usually have those weird pupils. Oh, they do, cool. It's so weird. It looks like I'm trying to use a lion or a, a cat or something, but I'm just mixing mink and and uh, sheep. What? It's so weird. Sorry to everyone who wanted like a really cute thing. I think this is very cute though. <laughs> I think I'm doing the lining a bit weird. And I put in the sheep's nose as well, which kind of looked like a cat nose. God, I'm just... this is so weird. Yep, mm, okay. <laughs> I'm not talking much, I'm just focusing on having fun with curly lines. <laughs> I'm also just surprised that this is what I ended up with. 
what from the creatures somehow maybe it's part of the gimmick is like looks like a cat but it's actually not in the family of of cats how like foxes look like they're foxes well, like wolves I mean but they're not actually part of the wolf family should actually not put my hand on top of this <laughs> Yeah, I didn't use much of the Jarbo, but I actually don't care that much. Because it wasn't really a part of the brief, but at the same time, a little bit. So, I like that I used the tail. Alright, I think I am going to... Start coloring. I have to figure out what the color scheme is though. But I'll switch from line art to coloring. Alright, I'm not sure what colors to go for, but I think maybe mahogany is in the sort of family of this reference. And I think that's a really, really pretty picture. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna see what kind of mahogany. So I really like this color scheme. I know it's a bit blurry, I'm sorry. I'm kind of. I focused it to my uh, paper, so it's gonna be a bit out of focus. But this is such a cute color scheme and I think mahogany is like kind of in that spectrum. So I'm going to use these colors um, because it looks like old and golden. I like it. It's very similar to, I'm probably going to keep it more red. Um, so it's not as so similar to the previous one we did. I'm still thinking about maybe I should keep it mostly like gold because... Because it was it would it would glow. I'm not sure. I don't know what would glow. I'm kind of undecided to as to what is glowing and what is not. But I I want the fur to be glowing, so I guess we'll keep most of it um, glowing. <laughs> the fur like white, and then the face and stuff darker, which I have done before. But it's one of my favorite color separations things. Um, so, but yeah, it does seem like I'm going <laughs> with familiar color schemes all the time, which is, um, oh well. Is it a bad thing or is it a good thing? I'm just gonna go for it and I want to make more of a reddish brown though, because that's kind of what I'm imagining, less than the purple. So, I'm gonna use this purple, but I'm gonna mix in a lot of this orange to create more of a brown more of a red brown. I do think it's going to be a very pretty creature card though. Probably changes color so in the summer... Wait, what if it's in, in the summer it's more... In the winter it's like very light and glowing but in the summer it's darker because they do shift colors, don't I? I'm going to start from here and then blend out, I think. Oh, it's lighter than I thought it would be. Maybe it's in the middle of the, sh the shifting of the uh, the colors. But I do want when it's in, in the winter, mostly mostly white. And maybe the, the faces kind of look like rocks or something. So it's a nice camouflage. But this is kind of perfect because this is um, a cold north-like creature. Don't know what I'm saying, but like, you know... Um, living in the north in the cold and it's getting colder because it's september and i swear to you the moment we hit the first of september it started getting cold and i'm like i don't understand why the world is doing this to me because it's suddenly cold now <laughs> now that there's no more summer probably should have a lot thicker fur on its legs and stuff but Oh wow, well, we're, we're done it now. I'm excited to see what you guys can come up with though, because I feel like there's so many possibilities for what you can do for the creature. And that's why I love seeing what you guys can design with the same prompts that I'm using, the same basic structure of the design. But you would you you guys create so many amazing things, so I'm excited to see what you what you do. 
I also feel like when I bring it into digital, um, I do play around with the colors a bit more. If I was a proper illustrator, I would test the colors before I actually did this, um, but that's not my my jazz. So. Like, I'm not even kidding, like, in my head right now, I'm thinking of this creature as a glowing slink. <laughs> and it's making me giggle. It's a glowing slinky. I could make... I, actually, I think I want to make the horns red, because I feel like that would be cool. And that would make sense for... a snowy creature, but I feel like this is more of a... I don't know. Definitely fire based in a way because it glows, right? So it must be some sort of base in some sort of thing that works like that. But yeah, I like the idea of it um, charging in the summer, like the, the light, and then if you were to harvest their fur, you have to do that in the in the winter because that's when they're glowing. They wouldn't glow otherwise. I don't know, I might change this to be another color in uh, the digital version? I don't know. I kind of have to see when I put it into an environment, that's like the whole thing. Um, this time I am going to remember to film that whole thing when I, when I make it digital and uh, that's going to be for my patrons to see, so if you're curious about that, you can go and check out the Patreon. It just means that you'll get this creature card and you'll get the process of the digital uh, painting of the creature card. My stomach is growling so loud. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up! <laughs> Why? I think I would have kept this creature mostly white if it wasn't for the mahogany bit of the brief, which kind of makes it harder to figure out what you want to do with your creature. I feel like I need to do something more interesting, but what can I do? Actually, it feels a bit weird putting yellow on it. It's, it looks a bit funky. Maybe I should add some more. But it makes sense. If it's glowing, it makes sense. It's like glowing golden fur. That's what I think, at least. <laughs> Could just go white, but that's boring. Like, that's what everyone would do, right? No, I still like the look of the mink with the the white, the um, yellowish chest. So I'm still, I'm still happy with this. Yeah, but as I said, it's gonna be, look really cool digital. Cause it's gonna be all glowing. Okay, so I found this this brown pencil. We can we can add some texture with it at least. I keep forgetting that um, the L sketchbook doesn't really want to take that much water. So when I use like the other like watercolor paper that I have, I forget when I switch back to this that this one won't won't take it as well. Yeah, I, I'm still not sure about the dark face. I love that color variation, you know, when it goes from dark to light. But for this one, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have like just had the muscle be dark or something. Like a Siamese cat or something? That would be cute. Uh, I, I like the idea that people would really love the, f the fur of the creature because it's um, golden and glowing. Like, of course that would be a something that people would want. Which is a bad thing, don't get me wrong. But for, for the world building them, having things like that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna stop now before I ruin this because I can feel myself just continuing to do this. <laughs> 
the face is missing something and I don't know what. Mm, that made it a bit more interesting. I don't know, I seriously have to take this into digital and see what I can do. Because something is missing and I need to know what it is. And I think that is it for today. I don't know what else to do, I'm so stuck. <laughs> um, but I'll figure it out and you guys will get to know that soonish. I'm gonna take that as a cue to stop uh, tweaking this because I know I can tweak this forever. <laughs> that's how who I am. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the creation of this sl glowing slinky as I, I've just, just said that it's called in my head, but it's not. that's not the official name. If you have any name suggestions, please leave that down below. I'm thinking more of a species name suggestion than anything. So if you have any of that, please put that down below in the comment section and also if you have any ideas for its habitat and all of that cool jazz stuff if you want to join in on this crazy creation please do here are the information that you need and there's also some down in the description box and then i will feature everyone who joined last month at the end of this video just now and uh, they're amazing so please enjoy a little slideshow and i will see you guys next month for another one and next week for another video and if you want the creature card go over to my patreon okay i'm gonna stop talking now because there's so much things to say at these end of these videos anyway i love you all thank you guys so much for all the support and i will see you guys bye bye